At the center of our galaxy, we have a supermassive black hole known as Sagittarius A star. This supermassive black hole is equivalent to four million solar masses, just over. So this is a massive object. And we understand the physics of this object because we can monitor the movement of other stars that are orbiting this center of mass. The fate of a star is all dependent on the star's mass. So stars with lower mass, like our sun, will end their lives by swelling up as they convert hydrogen to helium and shrinking down to a small star reliant on thermal energy called a white dwarf. Larger stars, more massive stars, can end their lives becoming a neutron star or the very massive stars becoming something like a black hole. And a black hole is a region of space-time where the gravitational pull is so strong that not even light can escape. Imagine coming towards a waterfall and you reach a point at the waterfall where you can't row fast enough to go backwards. Right, this is what we call the event horizon. So when light or a particle gets close to the black hole, it's drawn in by the gravitational pull. Black holes are amongst the most enigmatic objects in the universe and it's fundamentally important for us to understand the formation of the universe in general, to understand why and how black holes work.